Hello guys, my name is Max. Um, I have started this YouTube like six years ago, 2018. Um, I was at UCI at the time, I think like second, no, my third year, I was a junior. Um, and I decided just to start a math channel to film myself how I do different math problems. Um, my math journey started pretty late as a person who is doing math right now um, because I switched between five schools uh, and every time when you switch between schools and you come as a new person in class, you always need to adjust to different uh, like classrooms, uh, your students, your peers, like professors and stuff, teachers. And uh, the most easiest for me was like to do history at the time, because for history, you can just go and read books and answer questions. And that's it. So it's like, but for math, it, math requires like really solid foundations. So that's why when you switch between schools, um, it's really hard to build a solid foundation. And finally, when I was towards my high school, uh, end of the high school, uh, my mom decided uh, to hire a tutor who helped me kind of to build those foundations. Um, and that was like around uh, like 10th grade. And in Ukraine, we have only 10th grade and 11th grade. So that's why like in the last two years of my high school, I fall in love with my math because um, I always wanted to do math. But it's one thing, this, but math requires a skill. And, uh, but the skill requires practice and the practice requires confidence, but confidence is going to show up when you're going to be able to do math, get good grades. But if you like changing between schools and you know, like it's really hard to be, I would say, um, whenever you ask someone, or whenever you tell someone that you're doing mathematics, people usually, uh, like the first thing that they're going to say that, oh, I'm so bad at math and that thought, oh, I'm bad at math. For some reason, I don't like, I feel like most people, unless they're doing math or they're engineers, they always think that they're bad in math, but it's not about you being, being bad in math. If you have someone who is confident, who is like super in love with their own field, or, you know, like when you meet a person who just has a hobby, they can learn entire history of, of 18th century. And they're not saying that they're bad in history or whatever. The thing that I'm trying to say that uh, this thought that you're bad in math prevails so many young minds. So that's why I decided to just start posting some educational videos because I, as a student, experienced the struggle. I was thinking till I was like 16 years old that I am bad in math. I was in love with math. Math was my like passion because when I was walking as a kid, looking at different trees, like uh, flowers, clouds, and as soon as I find out, like there are some formulas, numbers, I wonder like if you can write the formula for the cloud, if you can write the formula for the tree, is everything in our universe is described using math language. Um, after this, I remember like all my excitements when I was learning new and new math concept. I remember my excitement when I learned for the first time, like fractals or other stuff, or when for the first time I encountered like counter set theory. And uh, there's like different type of infinities. There's a lot of great things in math that are hidden behind the closed doors of heavy notation, <laughs> heavy unknown language. It's like when you're doing math, it's the same as you learning a foreign language. But when you, if I will, if I want to go and learn Chinese right now, for example, I know there's, there's a path and there's association with the new symbols, which you can associate. I can learn the concept of the chair, the concept of a tree. And I know like what that word, what that Chinese word mean. Uh, so like the Chinese symbol and stuff, and people can teach me how to pronounce it. But the biggest challenge for the math that when you learn it for the first time, and when you learn for the first, like four five, six years, you are learning all these different subjects, you're learning all this, like new objects, new words, new concepts, new words, new. And, but you don't see how they're connected to an actual object. It takes time when you're going to reach the, to the, when you're going to go to PhD and during PhD, you need to survive through sequence of classes. And then finally, when you're going to build, if in high school, if, uh, in, uh, elementary, middle and high school, we need to build math foundations to learn like algebra, pre-calculus, calculus. But when you go into upper division math and you go to math on a research level, you need to build even like kind of what's called like mega foundation because you need to learn, you need to get exposed to so many, like so much knowledge, thoughts, practice in 
into learning this new language until you're going to start seeing those objects. Whenever we're going to talk about like smooth manifolds, uh, like algebraic varieties, tension bundles, like sections, in the mind of mathematicians, there uh, again, like, what the, another interesting part, there's like different minds, different perspective how we can study math. Um, I'm talking more like through geometric perspective. So for the people who are math mathematicians or like just people who are with geometric perspective, whenever they learn something new in math, they trying they try to visualize it. That's why whenever we talk about manifold, right now I have more or less clear idea. Okay, there's like some details exactly because second countable and stuff. I'm not talking about like those details. But overall, when we're going to say any word which associate like a group, for example, with math object, more or less we get some in inside intuition when which you can use while you do research by visualizing it and which gives you some hints in which direction you can go. Okay, anyway, it really just was like my night rant uh, before semester, uh, my next semester starts. I'm currently a postdoc at University of British Columbia. And I just want to say that uh, what I want to do, I want to share my passion about mathematics. Uh, I want to focus more, not just solving problems, which I did for the first four years and then other things happened in my life and that's why I took um, some years off YouTube and I was just rarely posting. Uh, but before I was just posting like just heavily how to do undergraduate or high school math problems and sometimes I talk about something more. Uh, but right now I want to focus more into how to get rid of this thought that we are better than math. How to communicate the passion and to show. So basically to outline the roadmap for two trajectories. The first trajectory, if you are high school, undergraduate, uh, graduate student, um, which steps, what do you need to do? And just share my experience, which might help you uh, to get into better school, um, to learn from my mistakes, because I did a lot of mistakes. Um, and uh, and hopefully my advice is going to be useful for someone because what's the best feeling in the world when you can help someone. <laughs> Whenever you like teach a math class and you explain one concept over and over again, and when you see that spark in student, eye, in student eyes that, oh, I finally understood, that's like the best moment uh, of person who loves teaching. Uh, and the second trajectory, if you're not interested or don't want to go into math academia and stuff, if you tangentially related to it or not related at all, I want to share and show you the math beauty. Uh, I will try to visualize some of the things that I'm thinking about on a, let's say, let's, okay, some visualization steps takes time because you need to code this and also there's some other life stuff uh, is happening. But gradually I might increase the complexity of my visualization, but more or less it will just start some neural networks, which I'm thinking about, uh, different activation function stuff. But overall just, you can communicate the beauty even without visualizing just by talking and sharing your experience. And math, I'm learning a little bit about art right now. Uh, and that's kind of gives me the new perspective how I can see mathematics. Um, and there is a lot of work regarding that, which I'm excited to read about and to share with you. But basically, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I wanted to make this video just as a starting point to try something new for my YouTube. Um, and uh, I will appreciate any uh, feedback and let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I will just go do some stuff and we'll post more later. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.